Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Early in the morning, just as day is dawning, he picks up all the post bags in his van. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Everybody knows his bright red van. All his friends will smile as he waves to greet them. Maybe you can never be sure there'll be knock, ring, letters through your door. <laughs> postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. All the birds are singing and the day is just beginning. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. Pat feels he's a really happy man. There was deep snow in Greendale. Peter Fogg was busy clearing the roads. Nobody could get about until he had shifted the snow. Postman Pat and Sam Waldron <laughs> and Miss Hubbard followed in Peter's tracks. The Reverend Timms was clearing his path. He waved to Pat as he slowly went by. Keep my seat warm, Jess. Morning, Mrs. Goggins. Isn't this snow awful? It's a good thing Peter Fogg's clearing some of the roads. We'd never have got through without him. They do say there's ten-foot drifts up at Intake Farm, Pat. And here's an urgent parcel for George, up at Hill Top. You'll never get there today, you know. Oh, dear. But I'd better take it just in case. I, I usually manage somehow. Well, mind how you go, Pat. We don't want you getting buried in the snow. Oh, I'll be all right. Cheerio. We can always dig ourselves out, can't we, Jess, if we get stuck? Pat was on his way. He had to drive carefully along the slippery roads. At Greendale Farm, the twins were waiting for him. Oh! Who threw that? You little monkeys. Two can play at that game. Hey! What's going on? Oh dear. Sorry, Mr. Thompson. I didn't know you were here. I, I was aiming at the twins. That's all right, Pat. It's only a bit of fun. You're just in time, because the road's blocked and the snowplow stuck in a big drift. We've come to dig it out. You could give us a hand. OK. I can't get on with my round anyway till the road's clear. I'll just give Mrs Pottage her letters first. The snow's bad this year, Mrs Pottage. Well, <laughs> the twins are enjoying it. <laughs> yes, so I've discovered. Bye, Pat. Peter Fogg was already digging when they got to the snowplow. Here we are, Ted. This is the spot. Whoops. Don't worry, Peter. We'll have you out in no time. Thank goodness for that. Phew, it's warm work, I can tell you. 
Come on, lads, put your backs into it. Hang on, I'll see if I can get through now. took a run at the snowdrift. Come on, Pete, you can do it. He was through. The twins had been busy. Bye. Bye, Pat. Bye. Pat stopped at the vicarage with a letter for the Reverend Timms. Dr. Gilbertson came to the door instead. Come in, Pat. The poor reverend slipped on the ice and broke in his leg. Oh, dear. That is bad news. Hello, Pat. Just look at this. Isn't it stupid? A piece of bad luck, I'd say, reverend. But I brought a letter to cheer you up. Ah, yes, from Cousin Sylvia. That'll make good reading. Oh, but what about the parish magazine? I was going to take it round today. I can take it with my letters, said Pat. No trouble at all. I'll see they get through. Cheerio, Reverend. Thompson ground, Dorothy Thompson was out collecting the eggs. I hope you haven't any letters for Hilltop, she said. The snow's so bad that Peter had to turn back. The plough just couldn't get up the hill. Hmm, I've got a parcel for George marked urgent. What can I do? Perhaps I could walk it. I've got a better idea. We can use the old farm sledge. I've got to take some food up for the sheep. Well, it's a long time since I was on a sledge. But it looks like the only way of getting the parcel there. Here we are, said Alf. You'd better take George some groceries, said Dorothy. He might be running short, being snowed up like this. They loaded up the sledge. Off they went. It was hard going uphill, <laughs> but lovely downhill. The sheep were glad to see them.
Just look at that drift. George's house was nearly buried. Hello? Anybody in? George was out. He'd gone to feed his sheep. So Pat left the food and the parcel on the table. We'll have a fast ride downhill, said Alf. Give us a push. Hold on, here we go. Hold on, Pat. Help. Oh, 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 oh dear. You all right, Pat? All in one piece, I think. Hold tight. Hey! Mind that tree. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Hey! My goodness. <laughs> That's one way of delivering a parcel. We'll need a hot drink after that, said Alf. Here we are, all ready for you. Jess was glad he'd stayed by the warm fire. Thanks, Mrs. Thompson. Just what I need. Aye, there's no like a good cup of tea. Thanks for the ride. Goodbye. The rest of Pat's round was in the valley, and the roads had been cleared and gritted by now. No more digging or sledging today, said Pat. It takes more than snow to stop us, Jess. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, Postman Pat and his black and white cat. Boom, 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 boom.